the pie chart gives the percentage of employees working in different departments of hardware companies okay total number of employees is 14000 okay and here the bar graph which is there it gives the ratio of male and female employees in each department now the question is the number of male employees in c department is what percentage of total employees in b department very easy first of all let's find out the total number of employees in c department and b department so i'll write over here total employees okay total employees are actually there are total number of employees are 14000 in the c department okay total employees of the c department would be what 10% of 14000 that is nothing but 1400 okay so 14000 is there i'll write over here how did i get 1400 10% of 14000 so i just remove one zero i'm going to get 1400 right so that is going to be of this then the total employees of the b department we have to find out it is nothing but 15% of 14,000. So 10% is what? 1,400. 5% is what? 700. So 15% comes out to be 1,400 plus 700. That is 2,100. Right? So these are the total employees of B department, total employees of C department. Now what we want is total employees of B department I have. Now male employees of C department. In the C department, if you check out the bar graph, number of males to females. This is 5 and this is uh, 2. So, in the C department, what is the ratio of male to female? Male to female ratio is 5 is to 2. Okay. So, total number of male employees will be 5 upon 5 plus 2 multiplied by total employees of the C department that is 1400. Right. So, this is what total employees of C department. Okay. Of C. Right. 1400. So, what I get is 5 upon 7 multiplied by 1400. So, 7 into 2, 200, that comes out to be 1000. So, these are the number of males in C, okay, in C department, right? We have to find out number of males is what percentage of total employees. So, this I have to convert it into percentage, right? So, 1000, I have to convert it into percentage. So, I will multiply by 100. And as compared to what? What percentage of total employees in B department? In B department, total employees are 2100. So, what we have is this gets cancelled over here and we are going to have 1000 divided by 21. So, the answer comes out over here 47.61%. Okay. So, this comes out to be the percentage. So, the number of male employees in C department is 47.61 percentage of the total employees of the B department. The panel below describes the effect of various operators. Use the information in the panel to answer the questions that follow. Now, this is the question. Okay. Now, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 figures. For each figure, operator is given. Okay. We have to accordingly operate on this. Now, the first figure is this. On this, this operator is there. What is this operator says? It says replace with the bottommost figure. This is the bottommost figure. So, this hexagon is going to come at the top and this square is going at to come at the bottom so if you check the options in every option the hexagon is at the top and the square or the rhombus or diamond part which is there it is at the bottom in every option so this is not useful to eliminate the options now if you check out this part this is actually going to give you directly the answer this arrow this symbol means rotate by 180 degrees left so if i have this figure okay if i am having this is shaded figure and this is blank if I rotate it 180 degrees, it is going to be like this. Okay. So, only option A or this option which is there, it has that figure over here. Otherwise, the rest of them are completely wrong. Okay. Another way to think about it is like only this one is going to give you the sure shot answer. Over here, if you check out the other symbols, this, this symbol which is there. For this, it means swap with the figure above it. So, this diamond goes up and this pentagon comes below. In every of the figure, Diamond is up, pentagon is at the third number. Okay. So, it is only over here, this rectangle which is there, that is going to give you the answer very quickly. The average money a mango seller earned during a month comprising 31 days was rupees 110 per day. His average earnings during the first 15 days was rupees 98 per day and his average earnings during the last 15 days was rupees 100 per day. What were his earnings on the 16th day? Now, the month has 31 days. Okay. The month has 31 days. So, I can distribute it as first to the 15th day. Okay. Then it is the 16th day. And then we have 17th 
to the 31st day okay these are first 15 days where the average is rupees 98 per day per day here i don't know what is the income of 6th day 16th day i'll keep it x and here the average is rupees 100 per day fine what is given for 31 days the average is rupees 110 fine so average is given by nothing but summation okay divided by total summation of all the observations divided by total number of observation average is 110 summation of all the observations means what the earning on the first day plus second day plus third day up to so on up to the 31st day right divided by total is what total days are 31 so what you have is 110 into 31 so i'll write over here 110 into 31 now from the first day to the 15 days so summation i'm going to write 1 to 15 okay this is the summation of the first 15 days plus the income on the 16th day plus the summation of the last 15 days that is 17 to 31st right so if i take over here average over here is 98 per day it is for what summation of the first 15 days first day second day up to the 15 day and total how many days are there 15 are there so summation of the first 15 days is what 15 multiplied by 98 okay over here also if i take it average is 100 per day fine this is the summation from the 17th day to the 31st day right divided by how many days are there 15 so summation of 17 to 31st day is going to be 100 multiplied by 15 right total number of days is 15 and we have to add 17 day income plus 18 day income plus 19 day up to 31st day so this becomes summation of 17 to 31 right so i am going to substitute the values 110 multiplied by 31 is going to be this is going to be 15 multiplied by 98 plus x plus 15 multiplied by 100 so what i get over here is 31 into 110 uh, so 31 ones are 31 this zero comes as it is 31 ones are 31 3 carried 31 ones are 31 plus 3 is 34 3 4 1 0 right so here i'll take 15 common i'm going to have 98 plus 100 is 198 okay plus x so what is going to be the value of x it is going to be 3 4 1 0 minus 15 into 198 15 into 200 is going to be 3000 3000 minus 30 is 2970 so value of x comes out to be 0 minus 0 then 11 minus 7 is 4 okay then 3 13 minus 9 comes out to be 4 and 2 minus 2 is 4 rupees 440 is the answer option c this is the income of the 16th day this x that we have considered answer is rupees 440 figure x okay this one it is given it is folded to produce different box patterns which of the following boxes 1 2 3 4 is or are possible we have to check out now if you carefully observe what is going to happen this and this is going to be adjacent okay and this and this is going to be adjacent but this black one and these three lines like these white three dots and these three lines are going to be definitely opposite to each other so if this is the base this part if it is the base one side is going to be this and the other side is going to be this part these three lines so these three black dots and these three lines are going to be exactly opposite to each other they can never come adjacent if you observe over here this part and this part is adjacent so this box is not possible okay next if you observe carefully these three dots okay these three dots and these three lines are adjacent to each other fine also over here these three dots and this is going to come at the side and this is going to come at the side okay these are the three sides of this base right so one side second side and third side and the fourth side which is there it is going to be this one so this blank and these three dots are going to be exactly opposite to each other so over here this blank and three dots have to be opposite to each other so this is not possible right so now if you observe carefully these are four dots okay this is going to be exactly at the top okay opposite to these five dots this is at the top this is adjacent to it and the next adjacent is going to be this okay so four dots four dots a blank one and these three lines are possible okay because see it is going to be like this these are going to be like the four dots on the top okay the blank side is over here fine the black side is over here and from over here three lines are there so if i try to observe it okay if i try to keep it on the left hand side like this 
if I try to keep it like this, black is, uh, or if I try to observe it from the bottom side, what is going to happen? These, uh, these are the four dots, okay? And the bottom side, that is the three lines are going to come over here, right? And the black side is going to come over here, black. And the blank side, which was over here, it is going to come on this side, blank. Okay, so this is possible. This is possible. So one is possible. Let's check out the fourth one. The four dots, blank and black side. So four dots on the top, then the blank of uh, black one. Okay, black one at the top, four dots in the fourth and the blank side over here. It is also possible. So sort of this and this, which are there, they are exactly uh, what we say is if you keep this dice upside down, like these three lines, if you put it at the bottom, okay you get this figure and if this black side if you try to put it at the bottom you are going to get this figure so 1 and 4 is possible 1 and 4 is possible actually it should be r 1 and 4 are possible at what percentage above the cost price must an article be marked so as to gain 33% after allowing the customer a discount of 5% very easy question now over here we don't know cost price and we don't know how much percentage above the cost price it has to be marked. So we are concerned with marked price over here. Okay. Because the discount is also given. So let the marked price be 100 rupees. Fine. Now a discount of 5% is given. Okay. How much is the discount? Discount is 5%. That means 5% of 100 rupees. So discount is how much? 5 rupees. Right. So the selling price will be what? 100 rupees minus 5 rupees that comes out to be 95 rupees is the selling price. What do we want? We want a gain of 33%, right? So SP will be equal to 1.33 of the cost price. 33% profit is required. So selling price is 95. I know this I get 1 of 1.33 of the cost price. So what is the cost price over here? 95 upon 1.33 rupees. Do not calculate it because it is not useful right now. What we want is what percentage above the cost price must be article marked. So as compared to the cost price, how, what is the difference between the marked price and the cost price that we have to find out. That means how much higher is the marked price than the cost price. So what we get is marked price is 100 minus the cost price. So what is the cost price? 95 upon 1.33 rupees. Okay. This much higher you have to mark the article above the cost price. This is the cost price. Above the cost price, you have to mark this much higher, okay? This much higher. But this is in rupees. I want it in percentage. So I want to mark this much higher. This is the how much extra amount that you have to add to the cost price so that it becomes the marked price and you get a gain of 33%. So how much percentage is this as compared to the original cost price? Just divide by original cost price. And since I want percentage, I'm going to multiply by 100. So 1.33 into 100. So what do I get is 133 minus 95 divided by 1.33 divided by 95 upon 1.33 multiplied by 100. So this gets cancelled out. 133 minus 95 comes out to be 38. 38 upon 95 multiplied by 100. 19 twos are 19 fives are 5 into 20s are answer comes out to be 40%. So 40% above the cost price you have to mark the object. Okay. So that so that you get a 33% profit after giving a discount of 5%. So answer is option D, 40%. Town A's population last year was 70,000. This year its population because uh, became 74,725. The male population increased by 5% and the female population increased by 7%. How many males were there last year in town A? Now, last year, the population in town A was 70,000, okay? So, let the number of males, okay, be X. So, what will be the number of females? Number of females will be 70,000 minus X. Now, what has happened is that, now the population is 74,725. So, how much is the increase? Increase is 4,725. This much is the increase, okay? Now we already know number of males increased by 5%. So how much is the increase in males? Increase in males is 5%. But 5% of what? 5% of their male population. Okay. So that is 5 upon 100 multiplied by x. So that comes out to be 0.05x. Right. 
increase in females is how much increase in females is 7% right 7% of 70,000 minus x so that comes out to be 0.07 multiplied by 70,000 minus x so now we know total increase is how much 0.05 x these are the um, increase in males plus increase in females is 0.07 into 70,000 minus x total increase is 4,725 right now this is 0.05 x plus 0.07 into 70,000 comes out to be 4,900 minus 0.07 x would be equal to 4,725. So what you get is 4,900 minus 4,725 is 175 and 0.07 x minus 0.05 x is 0.02 x. So value of x comes out to be what? 8, 7, 5, 0. These are the number of males option D.